Cesambra Island in the harbor of St. Malo, where resisting Nazis blocked Allied use of St. Malo's port, first of Brittany's harbors isolated after the breakthrough from Normandy. Nazis repeatedly ignored requests to surrender. One of the last of these requests is made at 10.30 hours, 18th August. Delivering the message by Cub Plane. Refusing to surrender, the Nazi garrison is once more attacked, this time from a hill near Dinar, where Americans used captured Nazi self-propelled 155 millimeter howitzers. Capitulation came only after a siege of more than three weeks. General Patton's Third Army, sweeping across Brittany in multiple drives, advances toward Nantes, major port near the mouth of the Loire River. Entering Nantes, 10th August, after slight opposition. Troops continue to cut up enemy dispositions at the base of the Breton Peninsula, threatening units of the German Seventh Army along the Loire River. Farther along the Loire, another American column advances toward Angers. Angers, occupied 10th August, celebrates its liberation by removing vestiges of Nazi occupation. Maquis recruits are instructed in the use of firearms. These are patriots of the French underground movement, men who resisted Nazi domination for four years. battling rear guard Nazis. Units of the Third Army consolidate the line along the Loire and press on east toward Orleans. American forces near Orleans attack elements of the German 7th Army at one of the largest airdromes in France, built by the Luftwaffe. The airport had been subjected to heavy aerial bombardment by Allied aircraft. Tired GIs salvaging inner spring mattresses from the airdrome's administration building. A 2,000-pound German bomb one of many placed at intervals on the airfield to prevent the landing of Allied planes. Nazi tanks move up. 